Hello everybody, NASCARFan19, back here for another edition of GeoGuessr. Now, I've played this game three times before, and only once of them were on the entire world. The other ones were in the United States and in famous places. So I looked back on this World 1, and my last score was 10,504. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. I can try to screw up how I say 1,000. But, um... I had one really good guess in Thailand, I believe it was, and then I had a few that were just in the wrong continent completely. So our goal is to beat that score today on another world tour. So let's get right into it and see where we get placed on the map. Okay, so we're in the middle of nowhere. It's a great start. Some tall trees. We got a power power line. So trying to make some quick assumptions we are on the right side I believe we're on the right side of the, of the road I'm not going to know that until I find another car but I would think that this is the jeez I can't go all the way down I would believe this is the right side of the, the road alright we got gravel road I'm kind of getting the idea that this is like a it's like a mountainous US so like maybe like Wyoming because I, I get, I, it just feels like America. The way this, the roads are. Slight power line. I mean, it's kind of a rural area. Just a non-populated area of Wyoming, or Colorado, or somewhere in that. So I can definitely see mountains in the far distance. A storm approaching, apparently. It's not a good time to be driving around taking Google Maps. Man, I'm finding nothing. Like, I'm hitting no civilization whatsoever. I haven't found another car. Oh, here's another car. Alright, so we're definitely on the right side of the road. And... Oh, wait. No, that doesn't... That does not look like an American... Like, it's bored out, but it doesn't look American. The license plate. That is. Just, it looked elongated. Can I only go? Wow, that's great. Let's zoom in a little bit. See if we can get an idea. That, that see that definitely looks longer than an American license plate. Cause ours are more uh, boxy. I guess is the term I'd want to use for that. We're definitely on the right side. Oh, this is a little less blurred out. Oh, shoot. What? Maybe that is American. Ah, oh, shoot. So confused. Just annoying how they have to blur these stuff out. I mean, it's necessary for people's privacy, but it's annoying when you're playing this game. Oh, gosh. I honestly don't know. Like, this could be America, but this could be Europe, too. I'm not getting the impression that it's anywhere in South America or Australia or even Asia. Like, I don't think this is like Russian or anything. Oh god, I wish I could just find some. Just give me some kind of hope. Find me, give me a sign, like a literal sign, not just like a. I mean, a metaphorical sign would be nice too, but a literal sign would just be fantastic. I see something. Oh wait, there's a sign. Oh, there's a couple signs. Okay, that does not look American. Kilometers. Okay, definitely European. Okay, we're not in America. That is a good thing to spot. Is there anything else that was... That's... Petusion. Okay, it's not English. So, let's get let's get in on Europe. Because we're def this is definitely where we're narrowing it down to. Uh, where is a mountainous part of Europe? So I'm, I'm cutting out, basically, uh, what do I want to cut out? I want to cut out, like, Germany, going around. Well, I want to cut out Germany, and pretty much everywhere west of France. And Italy. So, yeah, because those none of those are probably the same language. I don't think that's a... Uh, is that Swedish? 
like I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I'm getting these wrong, but I don't know other languages, honestly, behind besides Spanish. And then I mean, I can like recognize like the kind of what a language looks like. If that's makes any sense. Just like if I saw a German word, I'd probably be able to recognize it was German, just not know have a clue what it meant. Um, is that also a turn sign? Yes, it is. Blue and yellow. Like, kind of getting the vibe that it's like Denmark or Sweden. Or Norway. I think I'd be fine if I put it in this area, but I want to get this as close as I possibly can. And unfortunately, if I knew more about European countries, then I might have a better chance, but I unfortunately do not. I don't want to elongate this video just by being clueless. Um, Alright, well, we've spent a lot of time here, and I honestly don't have a clue which precise country it is, because we're not close to civilization. Yeah, I can definitely tell that's not... I mean, I've pretty much noted it down it's not European, but now I can see that license plate, that's definitely not... American. Uh, what, what is this? Guys, what, what's that? God, of course you take a picture of that point. Transporter. Oh, I want to read that. I want to read that logo. That probably could tell me something. Or maybe not, but it's, I mean, it's, a, it's some, kind, some kind of different lead. Can't read it from this side, can I? It's too pixelated. Uh, what what's that? Is that a like I forget what to call that? Oh god. Well, I think I'm in the right continent, and that's the start. I want to say based on this, I'm looking at the. Well, I can make this bigger. Like I know it's gonna be somewhere mountainous because I can see mountains in the distance, and this looks like a mountainous place. Like I'm looking at the kind of. I think this is kind of the texture of the different places. So I'm kind of getting the vibe that it's Norway. I'm definitely out there, like not civilized terribly. So I think I'm gonna place it dead in the center of Norway. Hopefully, no somewhere where there's not really a city. It kind of looks like a national park too. So I might get lucky here. But yeah, let's see what we get. Wow, that was actually pretty good. I think it's a, it's a little bit inside Sweden. If I, I can't really zoom it out, can I? But I, I definitely I moved into Sweden, right? Oh no, I can't zoom out. So yeah, it is in Sweden. So I was definitely getting close right there. So yeah, 123 miles away. That was pretty good. 4,390 points. We are already basically about halfway to what our last score was. So, yeah, let's see what we can do to improve on that. All right, so now we are in a very... Man, what, what, what's with the quality? Like, seriously, Google, get some quality cameras. What is this? Okay, this is, Amer this is American line. I mean, it looks like where my grandmother lives. Yet not, because what's with these ferns? Is in like it has the same feel. Well, we're definitely in rural America. Definitely in the winter time. And that sign might have had something. Okay. Sign about trucks. So it's kind of a it's a we it's a weird street. It's like it's a middle middle of nowhere. But if they have to say something about trucks, then it's not terribly unpopulated. Uh what is I can't even read that stupid camera. That that starts with a V. 
And it's like, looks like it's like 67 miles away. I can't tell because this camera sucks. Oi. Come on, Google. Give me some quality cameras, for God's sake. This is even, two, this is 2015. Come on. Uh, well, I think I've got the idea that it's in, what does that sign say? Is that was a steel that looks like another truck sign? Yeah, it is. I think I've narrowed, I think I've narrowed it down pretty well to get into, into um, uh, America. It's just a matter of where in America. Because I'm kind of getting the plane, getting the feel of the planes, not not the deep south. Like, I honestly think it could be in the area between, like, I'm thinking in this, like, where my mouse cursor is. It's like narrowing it down to, like, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, Arkansas, Kentucky, Tennessee. I don't, maybe not Tennessee, because I don't see any, like, horses or. Yeah, so maybe knock that out. Kentucky's possible. Uh, Oklahoma. I'm not sure if this is too barren for Oklahoma. Or, actually, well, it's more life. Well, I, I, heck, I don't know. I'm just kind of clueless at this point. I'm still not anywhere near civilization, because this is where the game likes to put me, apparently. But, considering that and the poor camera quality, I don't think I'm going to get any better. That's just a... Uh... Wait, do you all... That's what my... I, I live in Missouri, so that's what our, like, county highway thing looks like. It's just a square... It's a square of a letter. Maybe this could be Missouri. But heck, that's... That what that, that thing itself is not going to help me. Uh, SCs. Wait, Bowling Green. That is Missouri. Or Illinois. I think there's, like, two of them. So, let me, wait, Bowling Green is in Missouri, right? Or is it Illinois? Now I'm confused. I need to, I need to search. Show me Bowling Green. Are you going further? Bowling Green, show me your face. If you're even in the state, because you could be in Illinois. I don't think it's up here. I'm pretty sure it's like either just south of me or just off to the west. Not up here. off in Illinois. Bowling Green, show your face. I know you're here in this area somewhere. Okay, Louisville, that's Kentucky. Did I pass in Indiana? I did. That's Santa Claus. I've been there before. Oh yeah, that's a statement right there. Bowling Green. Okay, it's definitely not up here. God dang it, where are you, Bowling Green? I know you're somewhere. Oi, where are you? I, I do not want to give up on this. I know, I know Bowling Green is around here somewhere.
Ой. Just give me a sign. Like, it would be great if I could get, like, a search box or something. Just, like, once you get a feeling, just search where you want to go and it will take you right there. Because this is just ridiculous. It is somewhere. I swear. It's not that small. I see it on the weather all the time. I mean, when weather comes through. Maybe it was up north. Oh my god. I don't want to give up on this. I know it is somewhere in Missouri. that in Arkansas. So maybe I'm just kind of being naive and maybe it is in Arkansas. I'm just clueless. Um, what if it's in Kentucky? Oh my god, I'm so confused. Um... Found it. Bowling Green. In Kentucky. Alright, so. Bowling Green's there. It's like 12. I think that says 12. And Estes. I, I swear, if there's another Bowling Green and I'm missing it. I'm gonna be so ticked. But if I find, S if I find Estes, then. Then I should be able to narrow it down. This is off to the left. That could be a, that could be any direction. Estes, Estes. However you pronounce it, it's a tiny town, no matter what. Oh, shoot. I swear, if there's there's another bowling green out there, and I didn't, and I don't know about it. I swear there is a Bowling Green somewhere in... <sighs> At this point, I just... I want to put my guess there. I want to do one more search around this area. There's got to be a Bowling Green. Oh! I just found Bowling Green in Missouri. I knew it was there. I knew it, it's so tiny, but it's there. It is so there. And I don't think I can find Estes. Because I swear, this is in the middle of nowhere. How can this Kentucky, surely Bowling Green, Kentucky can't be this huge. But where is that other place? Estes. Or heck, the, I mean, there can't be a letter in front of that, can there? Doesn't say something else. Let's get really zoomed in. Okay, letters. Find Y. God, I zoomed out. I'm gonna place it somewhere right there, just for now. Just to have a place marker. But you can see, there. there's the letters. Y? Y. Y. Oh my god. Highway Y. Does this just stop? Why? Goes up there. Does it go anywhere else? Or does it just stop? I don't see anything else. Definitely, so we were on Y, right? Or was it Junction Y? J oh, Junction M. What's the Junction M? Where's M? 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 
M. There's M. So Y is going... Why, why would you take a left turn to... Where, where, where does that way I'm go? Now it's there. Now, wait, I'm on, I'm on Y, right? Oh my god, I'm taking so long on this, but I'm so close that I don't want to give it up. If I, if I turn around, it's going to tell me I'm on a certain highway and I turn. Let's get further up. Heck, let's just let me just get to the turn. Okay, so M goes left, and Y goes both directions. So this is a road that's shared. So is it? It's one of these two. This is where they share the intersection. And what highway is this? This is that's M. I was on M. I went too far. Just want to see. Okay, so that's M. And when you turn there, you go both directions. Oh God, that's not. But how far? There's there's water right there. How far does that go? Is that right here? Is there a creek right here? There is. So it's this road. And obviously if you take a left on this road, then you're going right, right up to toward Bowling Green. Oh my god, we're narrowing this down so much. So, I want to return to start. So I'm here. Did I ever pass Highway V? Like, if I go this direction, zoom back up. And this goes down here. It doesn't, the car doesn't matter. So I'm at a school bus stop. This is a wide turn. It's a very wide turn. Coming left. I go back. This is also a wide turn. And I was right in the middle of it. So I gotta be right here. I can't see if there's a tiny water pond right there. But this has got this this has to be it. I went so far down this road. This just has to be it. Oh my god. 5,000 freaking points. 14 yards away. Holy crap. We got a perfect score. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm so glad I found Bowling Green. In Missouri, I knew, I just knew it had to be that state sign. Thank God, I found something, and it finally put me in my own state. <laughs> I finally knew something about my own state, and I found a city in my state because I didn't realize how small it actually was. Maybe I just see it on school closings all the time. Okay, this looks like another. Is it, is this American Road? No, this is not an American Road. Potential Passingem de Nivel at 200 meters. Alright, I think that this kind of. Well, obviously, we're not in America. But what? That's. It's gotta be South America, right? I, I, that's the vibe I'm getting. There's, I don't know what sign. I don't know where. What country that sign's from. Uh, 
B R. That's gotta be that's gotta be Brazil. That's gotta be Brazil. B B R Tech. I don't know why it's Texas, but that that's definitely a. I mean B R means Brazil, and this could very well be Brazil. Definitely has the look of it. What are these signs? Are they the same? Entrada e. So that could definitely be a variation of Spanish. Like I, 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 I don't understand what. I've never seen Spanish words with like the double accented a. But I mean, I don't really know. Does Brazil actually? Brazil speak Spanish, don't they? Or do they speak a different? Like, like I don't know what other kind of language there'd be, but. I mean, some part, parts of these definitely look Spanish. And of course, Brazil is a gigantic country, and we're going to have a very tough time actually determining where we are. But let's definitely go down that direction because we saw BR, Texas, whatever that means. BR is definitely Brazil. Or at least it should be. Some. I didn't. I get. I. Brazil, Brazil has palm trees. That's interesting. Let's just see if we can find some more street signs. I'm, like I'm seeing the exact same stuff like five times. I don't know what I'm doing. <sighs> okay, no passing. They're putting us in places where there's just no signs of civilization besides some passing cars. Like I need some cities that like have specific titles. It tells us like, hey, you're in this part of Brazil. Or whatever country I'd ever be in. But I'm pretty sure this is Brazil. Like I'm not gonna be certain. But that sign was definitely a big hint. Kind of a nudge over in that direction. Okay. Um I don't know if I'm gonna get any closer to anybody. Unless I can find some kind of advertisement. I'm just kind of I'm moving along. Coming up on a boat or something. Oh, we're making a pass. Hey, we're going by you, dude. You're too slow. Alright. Uh no, what's that? Um, well, that's kind of sad. <laughs> uh Vicky. Okay, that's not gonna help me. But in four kilometers. Alright, and no, this is still not giving me any hints. Um uh, I don't think I'm gonna get any closer. Uh I think at this point I just need to take a guess. Somewhere in Brazil, pretty flat. I don't want to be close to the Andes Mountains or any of these mountains. Like, uh, I guess it's not even going to be close really, but I don't think that. I just say we go for a uh, total guess. So. I'm going to say. I don't want to. It needs to be somewhere flat, because it's definitely not a mountainous place. But this map doesn't exactly give us a good impression of where the mountains are. I guess, frankly, obviously this is mountainous, but I don't think this part. This kind of look. I think this would be more rainforest. I think it's. Good. I mean, it's still somewhere civilized. And it's kind of plain. I want to guess it's like somewhere closer to the coast, but not like in a populated area. It's somewhere on a good highway. Uh, we're gonna guess right here because obviously we're not gonna get it. We're gonna get a good hint besides that might or more more than likely be in Brazil. Let's take our guess, see what we get. We are on the other side of Brazil. It's still in Brazil, obviously, but it's a little disappointing. 678 miles. Brazil is a big country. And yeah, we only get half the points anyway. But we've already beaten our last score, so 
And that just goes to show how much we sucked last time. Alright, we are in a very... You know, I don't even know where, where... Where the heck are we? At least we're in a place with some houses. It's a... Boy. It's a very... Chacara Buena Viera. So this is definitely Spanish speaking. If I can, I mean, how many countries in Europe or honestly in the Eastern Hemisphere speak Spanish? Like, is, wouldn't it be like only Portugal and Spain that speak it? And Italy, and Italy's kind of like an they're kind of their own a variation, but I don't think it's pure Spanish. Honestly, most of the Spanish-speaking countries come in the, in the South, Middle and South American area. So I think if I can get down to that, that'd be good. Because this doesn't look like... I don't think this would be Spain. But obviously that was definitely Spanish text. Am I... Rather, I'm just going. I'm going backwards of where I was just driving. It's definitely a dusty place. Um, I'm glad they put me somewhere where there was Spanish text, because I probably wouldn't have gotten any good hints off of that otherwise. There's definitely a few mountains or. or Giant hills, rather. Probably not mountains, probably the wrong word to use. Some giant hills around. See some elevation off in the distance. I don't think this is. I don't want to guess Brazil again. But let's get down toward this area. How many. There's not really mountains in this area, are there? Guatemala, Nicaragua. Is there. I'm not going to guess that it's not going to be in Cuba or Puerto Rico. I don't think they'd have those kinds of things, but I'm kind of thinking maybe this is Argentina or Bolivia. Because it's not exactly, it's a pretty, because it could be Peru too, because not all of it's mountainous, but Chile's basically all mountains. And this is def this stuff, definitely not what this place is. What is that? Is that just a goat? Or a donkey? Or... <laughs> just standing around, eating on the side of the road. Um... Is this gonna give us anything? for blurring everything out. Uh, once again, we're going to have to take our best judgment. Obviously, when I'm in America, I can get better at dissecting location somewhat, but I'm not here. Not so much. Not so much. And there's a donkey carriage. <laughs> that guy's adoring the Google map car. Oh, wait a second, there's a little bit of civilization there. Can I jump over there? No, I can't. I want to see what that... Can I zoom into that? Or is it going to be too pixelated? It can a little bit. No, oh, that doesn't really help me. Pool of water. So basically a city right here. Oh wait, there's a street sign. Domiro Galvia Galvieja. Boy. Uh don't know how much it's gonna help me. 
I still don't have a clue what exact country that is. Do a quick search around. Los Angeles. I swear I see like I keep seeing stuff that like just gets me excited. That's all disappointment. All right, well I kind of get. Uh, I kind of want to say that it's Argentina. 28 de noviembre. A town called November 28th. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to put this somewhere in western Argentina. That's too far to the mountains. Um, I have no idea this is getting too far in the mouth. I can see now I can see the texture. That's a nice touch. Um right here. That is our guess for now. Let's see where we get. It was Brazil. Oh my god. 2,300 miles, 447 points. That's not good. Alright, final round. We're still better than what we were last time. This is not. Let's try to zoom in. This doesn't look American. It doesn't look like an American. Oh, where'd I go? I'm looking at the other side of the road now. I don't know where it went. Um, this doesn't look like an American road, but we're definitely on like some kind of highway. Okay, is this more Spanish? La Ciudad de Segur Anca. Oh my god, it's more South American. Let's dumb with this continent. <laughs> okay, I'll just occur. Uh, which way was it going? I don't know. Going up a big hill. Well, don't tell me this is another Brazilian. I swear, if I get Brazil three times in a row, because I did see like when, on the first round, or not, not the first. I mean, the first time we were in Brazil, which is round three, I did see signs that were similar to America. I don't know if other countries follow that same precedent. Um, so you can see there's another left turn sign. Oh, it's like this is like a, it's like a Brazilian highway. One of the more major ones between cities. And they sure like to use that attention word a lot. You know the pista dupla for hundred meters in a hundred meter. Is that like saying like a final rest stop? Wait, hold on, this looks kinda of civilized. Bota Toria. Ah, uh, I think that's 300 meters. Um, wait a second, wait a second. Oh, hold on. Too far, too far. Go back. What, what's up with this? Okay, there we go. Oliveira. Claudio. Okay, there's a, there's a highway there. 360, it's 369. Wait a second. Wait a second. That's just 369. It's not the same. It's not the same look though. So maybe maybe that's not the next. Maybe, maybe we're in the wrong country. Like 
Follow the road and see if we can find any of these cities. Am I still on that road? One, three, six, nine. Where would it go? Three, six, nine. Oliveira. This is another Brazilian. Oh my god. Um. Where's it going from there? I'm trying to. Oliveira. But then where are you going from there? I'm trying to find these other. I'm trying to find these other places. Claudia. And that's the one I want to find. No, there's Divino Polis, however you pronounce that. So what direction would it be taking me? Like I remember this isn't the start either. I gotta return back to the start to see the precise place in, on the highway I was. So we got Claudia, we got Divino Apa. So would I be there? Zion 494? Because it was a pretty windy road up to this top. This has been really close. Let's get really precise on these. We definitely wound around. Is this... Is that... Is this that? This weird circular thing? Surely not. Gas station. I'm looking at the same thing. What? Oh my gosh. Alright, so we're definitely on this road. Now if I go back to the start... I just need to go further down... This road, okay, so... Up, oh, wait, no. So it's downhill, here. And we're making a curve. Wait, what if I go backward? Maybe I can determine if I'm on this stretch of road that goes back to that other highway that's behind it. I want to get really precise. This is exciting. Wait a second. Wait, did I go backward? I must have gone backward. I swear I was on this, this part. Earlier. What the heck? Did I go... How did I go backward on this? It swerves there. And does it swerve again? It does. It swerves back? It does. So I've got to be on this part. It's got to be it. Because then this makes it like a complete U-turn. Oh my god. I got two perfects. One in Missouri and one in Brazil. Holy crap. Oh my god. This, is, this round is amazing. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. 46 yards away. 5,000 points in Brazil. That is insane. I swear I just spit on my monitor. That's gross. Um, the summary. 17,000 points. Wow. We did so much better than we did last round. I mean, just look at the... No, I mean, go back forward. Well, three of them... Three in Brazil. What? How does that happen? Honestly, this is a random game. And I ex I guessed one in Argentina, one that was all the way over there. That kind of messed us up. And then we had another one over here. 
in Sweden instead of Norway. That wasn't bad either. And then a perfect one right in my home state, Missouri. And now back down here perfectly on a highway in the middle of Brazil. Wow. Well, I think that deserves some likes right there for that round, folks. Make sure to leave it down below. Make sure to subscribe down in the bottom right corner or at the end of the video. And make sure to leave a comment. Let me know what kind of games you want to see me play. Maybe there's more modes of GeoGuess you'd like to see me play if you play as well. Like different countries or... Um, heck, I don't even know. Maybe you just want to see more. And tell me what you like about it. Or tell me what other kind of games you want to see me play in general, on computer or on console. I have the Xbox 360, so that's where I'd get most of my games. But yeah, oh man, I can't, I just can't get over that. That is insane how I just perfectly put on a point on the map in Brazil. That's just mad. Oh, I need to go celebrate somehow. Thank you all for watching again. Hope to see you next time on GeoGuessr and on my next video. Make sure you subscribe. And yeah, NASCAR Fan 19, signing out. Signing out.